It's already more than 100 years ago that Einstein developed his general theory of relativity and thereby flipping our understanding of physics upside down. His impact in science, but also in our daily life, was so huge that his name became a synonym for genius. But he was much more than just a physicist. He was also an impassioned advocate of nuclear disarmament, a potential president of Israel, but also a bad father and husband. We therefore collected for you 10 incredible and surprising facts about Einstein to bring you his genius a bit closer. Number 1. Einstein was rejected from an academic career for 9 years. Although Einstein was a brilliant student during his years at the Swiss Federal School in Zurich, professors neither appreciated his work nor gave him good recommendations due to his penchant for skipping classes and his rebellious personality. It took Einstein two years searching for an academic position until he realized that he won't find a job at universities. He therefore settled for a job at the Swiss Patent Office in Bern to make a living. Of course, it was menial work for him, but it turned out that this job was a perfect fit for Einstein to continue working on his theories. During the early day, he was breezing through his duties while spending the rest of the day for writing and doing researches. 1905 was his breakthrough year when he published four of his revolutionary articles about his theory of special relativity and introducing his famous equation E equals mc squared. Despite the fact that these articles have changed the way we think about physics in so many ways, it took another four years for Einstein until he got a full professorship. Number 2. Part of Einstein's divorce agreement was that his wife Mileva Mardich was to receive the monetary award of the Nobel Prize if he would ever win one. Albert Einstein and his wife Mileva Maric moved to Berlin in April 1914. However, Mileva moved back to Zurich pretty quick after finding out that Einstein had a romantic relationship with his cousin Elsa Leuventhal since 1912. The couple finally divorced on February 14, 1919, and Einstein married Elsa in the same year. Part of the separation agreements with Maric was that Einstein would have to promise her the money he might receive from winning the Nobel Prize, in case this would ever happen. Both agreed on that, and in 1921, when Einstein received the award for his work on the photoelectric effect, Maric was given the prize money. Number 3. Einstein was supporting the building of the atomic bomb, but later became an impassioned advocate of nuclear disarmament. When Einstein found out that German scientists were on a path toward creating the first atomic bomb, he swiftly realized the danger this would create for the outcome of World War II. The idea of such a powerful weapon in the hands of the Nazis was intolerable for him, so he set aside his pacifist principles and started to work with Hungarian physicist Leo Szilard. Both together were writing a letter to President Roosevelt convincing him to accelerate atomic research. Although supporting the building of the first atomic bomb, Einstein never participated directly in the Manhattan Project, as he was denied the security clearance by the US Army for his proximity to left-leaning politicians. He even later expressed his deepest regrets about his minor participation in that project and kicking off the destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He once told to Newsweek, Had I known that the Germans would not succeed in producing an atomic bomb, I never would have lifted a finger. He believed that the power of an atomic bomb is the ultimate threat to peace and therefore became a proponent of nuclear disarmament, controls on weapons testing, and a supranational world government like the United Nations. Number 4. The Nobel Prize wasn't awarded to Einstein for his theory of relativity. In 1922, when Einstein won the Nobel Prize in physics, for his services to theoretical physics and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect, his general theory of relativity was still considered as too controversial and was therefore not an appropriate reason for the Nobel Prize Committee. Although Arthur Eddington had proved Einstein's theory of relativity in 1919 by showing that the sun's field of gravity distracted light, the Nobel Committee believed that his proof was still too unreliable. However, in his explanation, the Nobel Committee did subliminally acknowledge his theory of relativity by writing, without taking into account the value that will be accorded your relativity and gravitational theories after these are confirmed in the future.
Number 5. The common myth that Einstein did fail in math as a child is absolutely wrong. It's a common myth by underachieving school kids that Einstein failed at math as a youth, as school records show something totally different. Based on that, Einstein was an exceptional great student and achieved very good grades, especially in math. The only thing Einstein was complaining about as a young student was the mechanical discipline demanded by his teacher and the prevailing castigation in the German school system. At age 15, Einstein left his school in Munich and moved with his family to Italy to avoid the state-mandated military service. But up to this point, Einstein was consistently at the top of his class. His classmates and teachers were always appreciating his grasp of complex scientific and mathematical concepts. Later in his life, when Einstein was informed about a news article claiming he had failed in math during school, he dismissed the whole story. He even said, Before I was 15, I had mastered differential and integral calculus. The origin of this myth can be found in the Swiss school system, where Einstein has graduated from school. Here, his final grade in math was a 6, which means excellent in Switzerland. However, in the German school system, a 6 means failed. When German students and teachers were seeing a 6 on Einstein's school records, they thought that he failed in math and the myth was born. Number 6. Einstein's brain was stolen after his death Before Einstein died in April 1955 from an abdominal aortic aneurysm, he requested to have his body be cremated. When Princeton pathologist Thomas Harvey, however, removed his brain during the autopsy, he kept it for himself, trying to find out the secrets of Einstein's genius. Harvey later had the brain cut into pieces and distributed it to different scientists around the world for research. There were a lot of studies on that, but none of them were really helpful for answering the question why Einstein was way more intelligent than the average person. Even more interesting, however, is the fact that a person as intelligent as Einstein did not start speaking until at least age 3. Such phenomenon is now often described as the Einstein syndrome. Number 7. Albert Einstein's son was institutionalized for most of his adult life. Eduard Einstein, Albert Einstein's second son, was diagnosed with schizophrenia and therefore institutionalized for most of his adult life. Historians have been speculating if the drugs Eduard got during that time damaged rather than aided him, but in any case, he more and more lost his memory and cognitive abilities. Einstein occasionally kept contact to his son by sending him letters However, he never saw him again after his immigration to the USA in 1933. Edward died at the age of 55 in a psychiatric clinic. Number 8. Einstein was asked to become president of Israel It's one of the most interesting facts about Einstein that he was once asked to become the president of Israel. During his whole life, Einstein always felt deeply connected to his Jewish heritage, though he never was a devoted Zionist. When Israel's first president, Chaim Vesman, died on November 9, 1952, the Israeli government was offering Einstein the chance to become the second president of the young country. The 73-year-old Einstein was very honest about that request and declined the honor by saying, All my life I have dealt with objective matters. Hence I lack both the natural aptitude and the experience to deal properly with people and to exercise official function. Number 9. A solar eclipse proved Einstein's theory and made him famous overnight. Between 1907 and 1915, Einstein worked on his theory of general relativity, which stated that the observed gravitational attraction between masses results from the warping of space and time by those masses. Although this theory is now an essential tool in modern astrophysics, it remained extremely controversial until May 1919. In that month, a total solar eclipse was expected that provided the proper conditions to prove Einstein's claims that a supermassive object, in that case the Sun, would cause a quantifiable curve in the light passing by it. English astronomer Arthur Eddington was trying to prove Einstein's theory of general relativity by traveling to West Africa and making photos of the solar eclipse. Back home, he analyzed his pictures and was able to confirm that the Sun's field of gravity did indeed distract the light by round about 1.7 arc seconds. This was exactly the same distraction as predicted by Einstein's general relativity theory. 
As this news spread across, Einstein became a celebrity overnight, but not just in the academic field. Even newspapers mentioned his discovery, and his work was compared to the achievements of Johannes Kepler and Isaac Newton. From that point, Einstein was regularly traveling across the globe for giving lectures on his theory. More and more scientists were now trying to further develop Einstein's theory, and in the first six years after that event, more than 600 books and articles were written about the theory of relativity. Number 10. Einstein's last words were lost in translation. On April 17, 1955, the day before Einstein died, he experienced internal bleeding caused by a ruptured aneurysm, but he refused a surgical treatment. He said, I want to go when I want. It is tasteless to prolong life artificially. I have done my share. It is time to go. I will do it elegantly. The next day he died at the age of 76. However, his very last words will remain forever unknown because they were in German. When he was in his bed, he said a few last words in that language, but the only nurse around did not speak that language. We hope that you liked our 10 facts about Einstein. He was really an amazing personality, and we owe him so much. Without his work, there wouldn't be any solar power or television. Tell us what you think by leaving a comment down below. For more fun facts, just visit our website, onlyfunfacts.com, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.